Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I'm right now located in northern Florida, near Panama City. If you want to find anything about me, go to MySpace, Twitter, or Facebook, where I have an account, or I have accounts. Anyway, this is a concept of mine that's a few years old, that if it were enacted by Congress, passed by Congress and, turned and uh, signed into law, it would possibly keep a lot of American businesses from leaving the United States. It also could bring back a lot of American business to the United States. Besides the fact that we need to do something about the unions who are uh, bankrupting this country and making it impossible for people to uh, get work because, you know, whenever they're around, they, they jack up the price so much, especially teacher unions, uh, that uh, states can't afford it. It's just like uh, the AFL-CIO and SEIU, you know, what they demand, you know, is just absolutely uh, criminal. You know, that's why when we go to buy a car, let's say, from General Motors, that right, are right now known as Government Motors, or Chrysler, um, it costs more than a farm car, not because they, it, the labor over there is cheaper so much, although that's part of it, it's because they charge so much here. They get so many perks. They get their uh, Cadillac health insurance uh, plans, you know, at least union uh, workers do. And we have to pay for all that. And so it's next to impossible to afford things, you know, when... The workers are union. You know, a union is a good thing to make sure that people are treated fairly, but you also, uh, they shouldn't be treating, they shouldn't be making it so we can't afford to buy our own products, you know, made by American workers. That's what they're doing. But simply put, besides the unions being the major cause or one of the causes of so much unemployment in this country, uh, especially in states like Michigan, Michigan's always had high unemployment. Why? Because of the unions. Well, here's my idea that. I believe if enacted by Congress, meaning passed by Congress and signed into law, would help keep American jobs here. And it's really not that difficult. And Obama's a liar and Bush would be a liar if they say this can't be done. They are, they're liars. It can be done. But I'm about to say. Simply put, the Congress of the United States needs to pass a law that requires all American businesses and corporations that leave the United States to go to a foreign country to have to pay those uh, workers in that country, like China, Mexico, a livable wage or a living wage. That is set, that would be set by Congress. Now Congress can set it up to the point to where, well, if these American companies leave, they're not really going to come out too much further ahead by going over there. Thus, possibly well, we'll just stay here and see what we can do here. You see where I'm coming from? A lot of our American businesses go to these foreign countries looking for cheap labor, paying like $1 an hour. You know? And a lot of these uh, foreigners just can barely make ends meet. They're, they're treated like animals. And that's where our image abroad, even though I'm not that big on image, that's one image I'd like to clean up. And I'm not like Obama where I'm always worried about what the rest of the world thinks. But when it comes to business, you know, these American businesses are a... Uh, representative of the American people, and they a lot of uh, foreigners get their uh, opinions of America who've never been here from some of these businesses, and I'm sure they don't like what they're seeing. That brings some of the anti-Americanism out of these people. Uh, human beings, you know, who are American businesses sometimes don't treat as human beings. But nonetheless, if Congress passed a law that requires all businesses and corporations that are over there now, who plan to leave, that they must pay a certain livable wage over there. I think you're going to see a lot of American businesses, eh, we better not go. Now, let's say the American businesses, you know, say, well, we're going to go to court and we're going to uh, fight this. Well, I don't think, I think they lose because uh, our Constitution does sometimes apparently goes outside our borders uh, at times. We've been finding that in the Iraq and Afghanistan war when it comes to terrorism. But what the government, our government could also do is they could also make it very clear that if you do not pay a livable wage in these countries, you cannot sell your product back into the United States. Now, we're the biggest consumers of the world. And if they can't sell their products back to us, they're in a whole lot of trouble. And it just may not be worth going to. So there's it's a win-win situation here. Because by keeping these, by requiring... All these American companies to pay a certain livable wage that would be determined by Congress if they can do it. I don't know if they can do it or not. It might be too hard for them. Uh, that would help.
would help people over there have a little bit more money in their pocket. Wouldn't you have to pay a little bit more here? But that's fine. It'd make it a little bit more difficult to find child labor. Illegal child labor, that is. And at the same time, a lot of these companies are going to say, well, it just isn't worth going over there. We can go over there, but we can't sell nothing here because of the profits that we want to make for ourselves, primarily, the, more, the extra profits. We can't really... Um, we're not really going to come out ahead very much. It just may not be worth the move. Do you see where I'm coming from? It can be done. At least they should try. Nobody wants to try this. Even Obama, Obama's answer to everything right now about jobs leaving America is, well, oh golly, shuck, oh darn, I don't know what to do. I don't have any any idea of how to keep American businesses here in America. Of course, he didn't say that. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what he, how he should have said it because that's, that's how stupid he comes across uh, when he talks about American jobs. It can be done. We can save American jobs if we just tried. If I were president, that's exactly what I would do. I would give it every night fight the courts all the way to the Supreme Court to make it to make it stick. And if, if so, I'll tax their butts off so high that they can't sell anything back in these United States. If they're gonna leave this country, then they need to go some then when they go over there, they need to pay those people over there a livable wage and something where they can do more than just barely survive. And I've really come down hard on these companies by ever funding child labor involved. And I have pitched an idea about how to stop child labor and how to stop all this prisoner uh, labor and all that. I've uh, pitched that many times and a lot of people found it uh, where we can stop all of this illegal uh, child labor and uh, prisoners being used to uh, make products for the United States or for the West or for anywhere. And especially anything that comes back into the United States. But I'll say it again. We can save American businesses by making it uh, so that they cannot, so if they leave, they're not really going to come out ahead very much. And if they do leave, they're still going to have to pay out a ton of money over there to pay people to work for them. Or they don't sell their products back here. It's as simple as that. And if they can't verify that they are using uh, non-child laborers, prisoners, they can't sell back here either. You see, the fact of the matter is we have an inept uh, Congress and an White House that doesn't know how to handle something as simple as this. Again, I'm not saying it's simple. The concept is simple. Implementing it would be either would not be easy, but it can be done. That's what I'm trying to say here. And we have a government that just sits there waving goodbye as all these American businesses just fly out of here. And this needs to stop. The unions don't have to stop it because they don't have the brains to do it. But it can be stopped. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You ought to contact your congressional representative, take my idea, polish it some, maybe you can do it better than I can, probably, you probably can, most people could, and pitch this idea to them, and get it on the, into the newspapers, get it on your local station, get it anywhere you can, get it all over the internet, so that people understand that we can take this, uh, we can keep businesses from leaving the United States. And if a business can prove, though, that they cannot survive here, because of unions driving up uh, wages and so forth, well, they can leave, but they still must pay a livable wage wherever they go. And Congress can do this or they don't sell their products back here in this country. Period. Please keep this idea alive. It's up to you and maybe we can stop so much so much of the unemployment that's in this country. We can we can. I feel so bad about all the un people who are unemployed when this is not necessary. There's no reason for this. Thank you for your time and I hope this idea one day reaches the very top.